Hey guys, Joe Train here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showcasing my South Brisbane station, which I made in Foxshot, realistic Minecraft server, in a 1.5 to 1 scale. South Brisbane Station is a heritage listed railway station which opened in 1884 which is located of course in South Brisbane. I'll put links in the description if you want to download this and uh, I hope you enjoy the showcase. So here we're at the footpath of South Brisbane Station, you have the little sign that tells you where you need to go, get, get parklands and the exhibition centre which not currently built but they would be over here in that direction. So over here, start from the outside, we have the news agency, you can buy news for some reason, and um, you can you can buy drinks here as well, and we have an automatic teller machine over there. Yeah, there's, we have our seats outside, you know, the sign here, it, it's pretty, it looks pretty, uh, I'll say it's pretty accurate to the real life you know, Minecraft interpretation of the uh, South Brisbane station. Anyways, let's go inside. So we have the little uh, gate things, the scanning card. And over here, on the left, we have the ticket office. We have a sign that says smoking is prohibited at the station. And this area is under security camera surveillance, which is Pretty, pretty obvious. You can, there's security cameras over here. So yeah, um, because this is at 1.5 to 1 scale, you, everything seems a lot taller than you. So like the ticket booth thing, you kind of have to jump to see over. Not like you would want to see over anyways. But anyways, let's go up the stairs over here. And as you're walking past, you have a uh, pictures, paintings are uh, to look at, and a lamp. So. Yeah, have those details. So yeah, at the um, outside the station here, have our uh, NGR train which is currently parked. Um, there is no no passengers probably because of the, the current pandemic that is happening. So anyways, we have the um, NGR train here. Uh, I'd say it's it's pretty um, accurate to the. NGR train real life, so you have the undercarriage details and the, the bogey details and the pantographs as well, the touch and the overhead wire yeah, they look pretty detailed, well they, I think um, this is an older model on a newer model I made uh, pantographs have more detail, but this is alright and you can also see, um, that's missing for some reason if you have uh, the maps here, TransLink map, the uh, custom maps I made yeah, TransLink, uh, visit translink.com.au, call the number there, and the Queensland Rail, even though you can just fly, we're not going to walk over the tracks, you know, and we're going to be sensible and walk down the walkway here to get to the other side. Right, so here's the, uh, the walkway which crosses under tracks one and two, so yeah, we have lights, I think. These are supposed to resemble the uh, timeline of Queensland Rail's history. We have vending machines over here, and of course another security camera, which is, you know, something to, to be aware of. So we're now at platforms two and three. Uh, we have another vending machine, and here we have a two three hundred class parked uh, here at the station. And uh, another two 300 class, but in the Eagle livery or Queensland Rail National livery, and this one's a Maronal, the regular Q QR livery. So we have that here. And um, there's even our help, help points as well. I think like little buttons you press, they tell you destination or where you are. They, they basically help you. And um, yeah, so as I said before, everything, this this world is uh, available for download if you head to the description. I also have um, 
the trains as well. Uh, now we're going to head to my other Queensland Rail trains you've seen, or I've, I've made, and that you will see. So let's, let's go there right now. Uh, so originally I did say that this is going to be a showcase of South to the station, but since I'm doing this video, I might as well show you the other builds I've been working on this server. Um, so here's my other other rolling stock, like as you can see, the Queensland Rail, um, Queensland Rail trains here. So that this is a it's actually a Kiwi Rail train I made for a, a friend. It's a um, what's it called? TR class, but we'll, we'll just ignore that. Anyways, uh, let's start from the left. So here we have some um, wagons, empty hopper wagons, and then have coal wagons, and then some QR national variants of them as well. So have the empty coal, the empty um, and the full wagons here. Then this, these are the um, what you would see the freight the freight trains heading to um, f Fishing Men's har Harbour. The Fisherman's Island, that's what, yeah. Yeah, these are the types of rolling stock you'll see heading to Fisherman's Island. Anyways, let's let's continue. So over here we have um, an SMU 220 slash IMU 120. For those who don't know, IMUs are like SMUs, except they have luggage racks and toilets. So that's, that's basically what the difference between IMUs and SMUs, other than that they're basically the same train and they can work in a combined unit with each other. Before they were in a different location, so the, um, this, the uh, maps aren't on here. So uh, I have to find, I'll try putting them on. Well, that's that. That's not important, anyways. Let's just continue the the tour. Here we have. To, no, that's not. That should that should be there. There you go. Anyways, pantograph here. Yeah, this of the um SMU two twenty, and here we have the back end. Um, usually QR would have two of these connected, so it would be instead of it being a three car set, it'll be a six car set. So yeah, that's why it's like that. Anyways, um, let's go to another, un our next train. Here's our SMU 220 slash IMU 160 series. So basically, uh, yeah, here it is. This one is built by Bombardier. I have to put the stickers, not, I might, they might as well call them stickers, that's what they are essentially. Yeah, I have to put them back on. Because, as I said, they, um, to move the trains you have to use Weld Edit, and Weld Edit doesn't move the um, stickers, as I'm going to call them, so, which is annoying. So you have to place them on manually yourself, but yeah, you have the pants graph, this one. It's, they're very similar to the um, NGR train over here, because they're built by the same company. So you would see the designs quite similar as it would be in real life. And here's the back end, or the front end if it's going backwards. And let's, let's move on. Here's a NGR train. I don't, I've already went through this. Um, you might notice that the slabs here are yellow. That's because I'm, I'm using a custom texture pack because before they would, would have been more of a beige color. But this this is more realistic to what they would look like in real life. Um, here we have the Queensland Rail two three hundred class. You've seen this before. So let's continue to the Queensland Rail eight hundred class and the Broncos livery, which is yeah, the the footy team. For some reason, Queensland's um liveries they're named after football teams. For some reason. Anyway, so here's a uh, two eight hundred class. Uh, it's dual, no, it's dual cab, so you have uh, one cab on either end of the train so it can work going forwards or backwards and you wouldn't have to put it on the turntable. And here's the QR National uh, 
two plus two one seventy eagle livery. See this, and here is the um. I don't have a sign here for some reason. It's gone. Uh, the two eight hundred the eagle livery, which is basically that train, but in the eagle no eagle livery, which is also the QR national livery. So this is supposed to be QR national in there. So here we have the last two trains, the tilt trains, diesel tilt train. So um, so um, instead of uh, the other trains, uh, these ones use cyan concrete uh, for the um, interior because it makes it look more like it's reflecting the sky. So, so I decided to use that instead. You have the little line work side. Uh, so here we have carriages. I mean, they're, they're pretty similar. This one has two doors here. And uh, also, um, these bogies, they use this new block called Load Stone, I think. So the, yeah, they um, actually kind of look like the companion cubes in Portal, but they actually they make good wheels in, um, in Minecraft. So yeah, they look very shiny and new. So that's why they like them, they look nice. And let's continue down. So the, yeah, there's not much difference in terms of the carriages, they look essentially the same. And then we have uh, another diesel uh, driving unit thing up the other side. Here is our last train I've made, the electric tilt train. This is the first high speed train in Queensland. Yeah, this this train actually reached a top speed of two hundred and uh, ten kilometers an hour, um, and it's actually widely believed to be the fastest narrow gauge train in the world. So yeah, this this is a the the, the good train. I don't, I don't know what else to call it. So yeah, it's basically it kind of, it's a bit similar to the um diesel multiple unit. Except it's electric, so it has pantographs, which are nice and colored red. So um, it, this one's only a six car set compared to the uh, seven, nine car set of the DMU, the DTT. Oh, well, it is a DMU, which if you don't know, DMU stands for diesel multiple unit, and then EMU is e electric multiple unit, which are what those trains are, and this train is. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, if you want to download this building, this build, or my other builds, be, they will be uh, listed in the description below. Um, so, without further ado, uh, I bet I'll just I'll leave then, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.